Hey everyone, today I want to show what the inside of a Motorcraft FL 2087 actually looks like. This is the old filter from my 350R that I just changed out. Now when it came out of the car, it was perfect, it was not deformed at all, uh, but I actually had to use a hydraulic cutter to get it apart. So you'll notice some of the parts are a little bit deformed, but that's not from the vehicle, that's just from me cutting it apart. So first thing you'll notice, obviously the filter has plastic caps on it. Uh, these caps are actually pretty robust and strong. I mean, I, I can't even bend these plastic caps with my, with my hand. So this is, uh, this is pretty impressive. It's got FOMO Co. and an engineering number on the top of the cap. And on the one cap, it has the Motorcraft FL2087 in yellow writing that you can see. And then the other cap is identical. Same engineering number on it. And you'll notice on the inside of the caps, you have glue here. There's quite a bit of glue in here, so it looks like it was uh, very well glued on both ends. And like I said, I, I, the, the plastic alone is, is impressive with how strong this is. I can't even, I can't even deform it with my hand. So uh, that's, uh, that's definitely pretty good caps on this thing. Now, one of the attributes that really sets the 2087 apart from other oil filters is the steel reinforcement sleeve on the inside. Uh, I was already impressed with some of the, with this filter, but now taking it apart, it is absolutely incredible how strong this filter is. Now this steel core appears to have started life as one flat sheet of steel. Then they probably punched the holes into it. And it looks like they round it and then tack weld it together. You can see where it overlaps right there. And you can see the little bit of metal discoloration where they tack weld it along the seam here. It almost has these little black marks from the heat of it being tack welded together. And I am incredibly impressed how strong this is. I cannot deform this with one hand. The only way I can start to bend this is if I have to put both my hands together and I can just start to bend it a little bit if I squeeze with all of my grip. It is absolutely amazing how strong this thing is. I mean, like I said, I had to use a hydraulic cutter to get this thing apart because I didn't want to use a sawzall and get all little shavings everywhere. But this, this thing, uh, it's incredible how strong this filter is. This is not a cheap filter, but I think you can definitely justify the price with a filter this robust and this well engineered for a vehicle. So that is what the steel cage looks like on a 2087. And then finally, obviously the filter media. Now here you can obviously see I have a brand new one. That's what it looks like when it's new. It appears to be some sort of synthetic material as opposed to cellulose, which is typically used on less expensive oil filters. Another aspect that I think most people don't realize is the metal reinforcements on the inside. The entire inside of this filter has this mesh reinforcement from side to side and top to bottom. The entire thing is metal reinforced. So that makes this thing incredibly strong. I mean, it takes quite an effort just to straighten this thing out and pull it completely flat. So you can see all that wire mesh. This is something that I really don't see in a lot of other filters. And the fact that they not only did the steel core, but they did this wire on the back side of it to help hold it together is really, really incredible how well this thing is put together. I know some people are kind of put off by the price of this filter, but seeing this kind of construction for an oil filter, it, it really is impressive. And then obviously you have this steel band here that they use to hold it together when they clamp it, when they wrap it. So there's a lot of metal in this filter to hold this thing together. And for those of you that might be wondering, I'll try to straighten this out a little bit more, about how long this filter media is. It is 21 and a half inches. If I really stretch it, I could probably get it out to about 22 inches long. So there's quite a bit of media here. It's, uh, it's pretty impressive. Obviously a little bit discolored just from the oil going through it and being in the filter, but it, uh, it is a very, very impressive oil filter, as you can see. So hope you uh, enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.